All right, guys, welcome back to another Nate the Hoof Guy member video. Today's video, look at this deep heel here. This isn't the problem one, though. It's this one. You can tell we've got some weeping up above there. Get a better view from this angle. There's going to be a problem underneath there. And what we're about to find is a whole lot of digital dermatitis on the corium underneath there. So we're going to get this trimmed up, and you'll see what I mean. This little area here, that's what we call pith. P-I-T-H. We've talked about that before in other videos. That's that white, chalky appearance of the hoof. That's the hoof that would naturally fall away. Uh, doesn't actually happen when we have hooves that are, are more hy hydrated like this one is. It's not. It doesn't go through that uh, normal shedding process. So we have to trim that away, and that's why these, these claws tend to get a little bit thicker as well. You can see that first layer of separation we're taking away with the grinder right now. As you can see, there's a significant amount of gunk up underneath this sole, so it's time to get that away. As I mentioned in my most recent video, I've been dealing with some neck issues, got a herniated disc in my neck, so I appreciate the patience with these member videos. I haven't gotten a lot of trimming done in the last couple weeks, so it's really hard to get trims, especially like this, on film. But we got a couple this week, actually. So got this one and one more coming up once I get that edit done. I'm not exactly sure when that'll happen because I'm backed up and got a full week of trimming planned. Hopefully things go as, as scheduled. If you notice there how that sole moved, well, now if we zoom in real close, you can see why we've actually got another layer of false sole to remove there. Underneath that, that's where that digital dermatitis has colonized. You're going to see that soon enough. I'm testing this area with my knife here just to see if I can see where the edges of this loose horn might be if it extends all the way across the foot and as expected it's going to up underneath this false sole that's where that corium layer is and that's where we're going to find that colonized uh, that digital dermatitis that's colonized on that corium.
can be tricky sometimes removing these real thin layers. You'll notice when I take my gloves off to do that, that's just so I can get a better feel and, and more, uh, more precision when I'm trying to remove these ultra thin layers right here like this. This one's gonna extend all the way up actually to that inside wall. So we're gonna have to gently remove this. It takes a little bit of force when I get hooked into that outside wall. So I'm gonna pull that down. But you can see here, we're getting that corium pretty well, or that sole pretty well exposed now. And you can see where the open corium is, where that dermatitis is colonized on that. So we get zoomed in close here, you can see these darker pink areas. That's that area of digital dermatitis that's colonized on that corium. It's littered out throughout that whole area. Along these edges, we've still got horn to remove. That's what we're going to work on next, being real careful to get that taken care of. Zoom in real close. You can see all that mottled area. That's the area that's gonna need the, a good thorough cleaning and that's where we're gonna put that salicylic acid on that to get that to clean up. The new layer of hoof is gonna form right from that. So in this case, even though this farm runs a really good foot bath program, because that layer of hoof horn is there, it's keeping that chemical from getting in there and taking care of that. And that's why you can see how much colonization has happened here. That'll happen on the heels too, if you don't have a good foot bath. Here you can see real close now, we got this area cleaned up. All those areas that need to be addressed, we get that salicylic acid powder on there, and that's going to take care of that, that bacteria, and it won't take long, and we'll have a new layer of hoof horn there that'll re completely replace this. And that's gonna about do it guys. Once again, I really appreciate you all becoming members of the channel, helps me out, and hopefully I provide some value with these extra videos. So until next time, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.